I'm Dennis Chisholm with Emerson Swan. Today we're going to talk about integrated controls and higher. We're going to walk you through the steps to set up the integrated controls so you can see how simple and easy it is for the homeowner to navigate and for you as an installer to install it to get in and out of your job quick and inexpensively. The first thing you need to do is download the apps on your smart device. Whether it's a tablet, a phone, or your computer, you can use whatever you prefer. So the first app that you need to download is called IFT. This is the integrated controls that talks to the higher unit and an, a smart thermostat. The second app is your smart HQ. This is your general electric and higher app that communicates to the indoor units. The third app is your Ecobee app. You can use Honeywell or any smart thermostat that's compatible with IFT. So having these three apps readily available um, will help speed up the process. The fourth thing that you need is to create an account for each one of the apps. We typically recommend to use one account username and password. I like to use Gmail, so using the address of the job with that, the password being whatever you'd like and using that username to log in to each one of the apps. This will also allow you to do this without having to ask the homeowner for their password and maybe personal information that they may not want to give up. We're going to move on to the next section, setting up the Wi-Fi for the high wall head. In this section, we're going to talk about how to connect your indoor unit to your Smart HQ app. If you have a high wall indoor unit, you may require a Wi-Fi stick, which you simply take it out of the box open up the cover and insert it into the little door. Close it, shut the cover, and then follow the steps on your app to activate the Wi-Fi card. So once you've created your account and you've logged into your Smart HQ app, you go to the Add Appliance, Hire, Air Conditioning Unit, Ductless Air Conditioning Unit, and follow the simple step-by-step -step guide and how to connect your Wi-Fi unit to the homeowner's Wi-Fi connection. Once you have this completed for all of the indoor units that you may have installed in the house, you are ready to move on. If you have ducted units or a floor console, the Wi-Fi is already included in the unit, so you will not need a Wi-Fi module. So now we're gonna move on to the next section, setting up your Ecobee or your smart thermostat. In this section, we're going to talk about setting up your smart thermostat. In this case, it's an Ecobee 3 Lite. So from your preparation, you've already downloaded your Ecobee app on your smart device. You've created your account. We've connected it to the Wi-Fi. So it's a simple procedure. You just turn on the Wi-Fi and you follow the steps that Ecobee has provided for you. And then once this is complete, you have to go into the thermostat settings and make a few changes. The first thing that you need to go and change is the hold action is found under settings, preferences, hold action. Typically they come out of, out of the boxes until the next scheduled activity. We need to change this until you change it. So the thermostat will only make an adjustment to the temperature setting unless you prompt it physically through the integrated controls or manually by going to the device and changing the thermostat setting. The second thing is we want to change is we want to disable the heat smart recovery. The third setting we want to change is the Eco Plus. We want to disable this. And the fourth setting that we can change is the schedules. So normally we delete the schedules and leave one. The home, doesn't matter if you leave home or sleep or, or any of them. We just need to make sure there's one. So I take, once I've created one, deleted one day, copy that day to the rest and we save. So every day right now is only on the home. So if by chance, the thermostat runs a schedule, it's only going to be running one schedule and we're going to change that setting to 66. 
So once you have completed the, the few steps that are found in our installation guide, we move on to the next step, which is actually doing the integrated controls with the IFT program. In this section, we're gonna set up the integrated controls. In previous sections, we've already hooked up each of the indoor units to the Smart HQ app and each of the Ecobee units to the Ecobee app. So we log in to our IFT account with the same username and password, and we have to create two commands for each device, whether it's an indoor high wall, a ducted unit, or a floor console, there needs to be two commands created. One, what happens when the temperature rises above a specific set point outside, 30 degrees in our example, and one when the temperature drops below 30 degrees. So creating the commands, we log into our IFT account, we go to the home page, and there's a create button. We go to if, because of if this, we type in weather underground, because we want to tell it what to do when the temperature rises above, in our example, 30 degrees. We select our location and we've created our trigger. The next thing we need to do is what do we want to do once the temperature rises above 30? We want to change the temperature setting on your higher indoor unit. GE, we select our indoor unit using the uh, address on the Wi-Fi stick or on your box. And when the temperature rises above 30, we want our indoor unit heating the space. And we simply hit continue, we finish, and we've created one command for that indoor unit. So we repeat the same process, but we change the rise above to drop below 30 degrees. So when the temperature drops below 30 degrees, we're gonna set the indoor temperature on the high wall head or your higher unit to 64 degrees and hit accept. You could even do this from your office. If your guys in the field or gals in the field have everything hooked up to the homeowner's Wi-Fi, you could create the account from the office and set up the integrated controls remotely. So you've just had your new hire system installed inside your house and connected to the Smart HQ app. You've also had a smart thermostat, Ecobee 3 light, connected to your existing fossil fuel appliance. So now the integrated controls basically sends commands to each one of those devices, depending on your outdoor temperature. So the goal of all of this through your utility company or your state, in our case, MassSave, is to reduce the use of fossil fuels. When the temperature outside is above 30 degrees, your heat pump will heat your home, and when the temperature outside is below 30 degrees, your fossil fuel appliance will heat your home. The IFT app sends commands to each one of the indoor devices and changes the temperatures automatically for you, so you don't have to do anything. You may hear a beep when you haven't done anything, and it's just the IFT program doing its thing. At the same time, it's gonna send a command to your smart thermostat and change the temperature to 64 degrees. Your fossil fuel appliance should not come on because your higher system is heating your house to 68 degrees. The opposite happens when the temperature falls below 30 degrees. After that's complete, your fossil fuel appliance will heat your home to the set point and your higher ductless unit will stay in standby at 64 degrees. If you are uncomfortable for whatever reason and you need to change the temperatures, you can physically go to the thermostat and adjust the temperature, or you can use your handheld remote or Smart HQ app. It's that easy. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to your contractor or an Emerson Swan employee, and that's that. So as we've discussed, being prepared is the most important thing. Some of the information that's available for you to help you guide you through the process is our Hire Ductless Integrated Control Setup Manual. So it's a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the integrated controls through the entire process to make it easy 
in the field or remotely in the office. The other piece of information that's available to you is a frequently asked questions from homeowners. If they have any questions, most likely it will be answered on this form. There's an integrated control setup form that's available. Just ask and we're more than happy to provide it for you so that you can set up the program and not have any callbacks down the road. You can pass it on to the homeowner and you can save it for your records. So having said all of this, being prepared and organized is more than half the battle on setting up this simple and wireless solution with Hire.